How's it going everyone? Rock here. Today we're going to be bringing you another awesome video. We're going to be going through the whole patch notes. We're going to be watching the trailer that just uh, dropped the multiplayer one for Operation 7. We're going to get into all the patch notes and all the information on this video. So make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and drop a comment. Let me know what your opinions are. If you've got any questions, I will be obviously replying to you guys in the comments. But first of all, let's watch this. Hope you're all having a great day. Operation 7 tomorrow. Let's get it, baby. Operation 7, versus mode. Later boys man, let's go. Mate, you don't understand how excited I am for the leaderboards, man. I've, I've said this from the start when, oh, like, when Gears 5 launched, you know, I was preaching for it. This is going to be awesome, Execution 2.0. There's no more King of the Hill, Control is taking over from now. Thank you. Placement reward system, you know. Oh. oh, player progression, obviously. <laughs> yes, look, mutators and oh man, oh, mutators, man, that is just amazing shit right there. You know, that's that that, that brings something different and it's funny and it can be in private special events that kind of stuff you know great stuff now here we go let's watch this let's read into this this week in gears made it 18th to 24th hello everyone welcome operation seven lands tomorrow if you haven't already checked in deep and watched the thing we've just watched it guys we've just watched it the versus event is going to be osok exploding headshots <laughs> uh, that's sick you know they're the exploding headshots as a movie poster filler wow a filter like when you so you get a headshot it's gonna make a noise and it's gonna explode that's cool something different i like that the horde event is going to be horde frenzy on three new maps okay so the new maps are called artem turbine and command so all you pv uh, e frenzy like gas heads out there that love this kind of stuff congrats three maps to play on enjoy i won't be playing it but for you guys that's awesome the weekly store as you see here um we've got a few things we've got the collector's benjamin the juggling expression the gator set chunked and the wolf all right we've got the ronin karn we've got the line art full set we've got the more than better banner the rift worm mark and the locust rune kill blood spring okay that's the thing here now operation seven bundle is going to be ukon hana the the light mass bomb full set um the ukon uh, regenerating banner artillery mark uh, obviously one win 700 iron and 30 days boost for 15 dollars so decent you know if people are getting the bundle you're going to be getting some iron you're going to be getting some boost all that kind of good stuff gears esports as you know there's been a hectic hectic weekend uh, congratulations to e united uh, you guys killed it again as always you guys are awesome well done to you guys and um, if you want to obviously keep yourself up to date make sure you follow the egl twitter uh, they'll keep you up to date with all the kind of information when there's skins when there's things that are going out live you have to be in the chat to claim them make sure you're following these people so you don't actually miss out you know if you're trying to get these as we all know black steel is coming back to the gas you know we're getting black steels to gears war 5 again there has been leaks of all the other ones that are coming in the next couple of weeks uh, and months. It's okay though. I'm not going to obviously leak that and obviously I'm not going to talk about that. But this one is only $2.99. So if you guys are excited for Black Steel to come back, I'll be posting all the characters on my channel. So don't you worry about that. Um, here is Glory this week. Okay. Um, let's just watch the top one, shall we? Let's just watch the top one. What does he do here? Dude, I had to see that, you know, I had to see the first one there. Give that a like. Boom. I'm giving that a shit like right there. There you go. I'm, I'm dedicated. I'm, I'm, I'm giving you a like, okay? Be happy. <laughs> Dude, I'll give you a follow as well. That was crazy. That was a beautiful triple. Obviously, there's all these other guys. My boy, OG Sai, Headshot Month. Let's get it, baby. 
Now, the patch notes, what everybody wants to know. Let's get it, baby. Players will now receive Gears coins when earning unusable duplicate skill cards. Uh, the Commons 5, Rare 30, Epic 100, and Legendary 400 coins. Very cool. Very, very cool. For each level skill card earned uh, over the things, you'll get those as well. So, you know, that is awesome. That is awesome. Prescott now plays his audio with his retro charging chainsaw uh, sort of moves, so he's not got the Marcus, you know, uh, talking lines over it. So that's cool. You fixed that. Civilian Anya's hands, no more big hands, little hands now. <laughs> um, as it says there, his voice lines have been fixed as well. Good stuff. Harbor, a, a particular part of the cover should now allow grenades to clip through it. Tomb, a level of detail pop on the sandbags near the cog side has been addressed. Uh, the National Bulltalk weapon tile will now be match up with the actual weapon preview. Uh, Simple Omen will no longer be away before the player is completely healed. There was an issue with that. That was very frustrating, thinking you were one shot or how much you had and then, you know what I mean, you, were, you didn't actually know what you had sometimes, so at least they fixed that. Uh, the T-Bow Arrow would uh, attach outside the player, that's kind of fixed itself, that's cool. The option to disable crossplay has been now removed. That is the huge, like, obviously people are going to be mad about that, you know, there's people don't like playing hackers, people don't like playing PC, oh they've got advantage, they've got this, they've got that. The matchmaking is going to be quick now, you're going to get into much more games, quicker games, you know, uh, the population is going to be bigger, you know, yes, I hope there's not hackers and I hope that TC manages to conquer down and keep people doing that, but we're going to have to come together, if you see someone report them you know report them and that's all you can do but let's hope that this crossplay helps down the line to make the game more faster you know but faster matchmaking and the bigger the population the better you know let's hope let's hope classes is uh, correctly numbered classes you maxed out field of view has now been added on to all xboxes 120 field of view let's get it uh, and the stats menu has been updated and will now automatically show your stats for current active playlists in gears 5 uh, and all the other ones to fix. That's cool. That's cool. I uh, PVE PVP. Sorry, my bad. Um, there's a lot here, guys. There is a lot. Um, I'm not going to go through every single one. I think I'm going to go through a couple that catch my eye, and then I'll put the link down below. You guys can go over it, and you guys can read it for yourself. But I'll go over my couple of things here. As you know, guys, we're getting a brand new ranking system, uh, competitive mode, and everybody is going to be starting from scratch because it's a brand new one. So your kills, your win-loss, everything starts from now, which is cool in my opinion because it gives people a new chance. If you're getting better at the game, you've had a year and a half to play, you're going to be better. Now it's time to grind, get better, get higher up, unlock cool new rewards and that kind of stuff. As you see here, when you win a match, uh, win a round, and if you complete a match with your team with all players and no one's quit, you'll get points. If you play solo, you're going to be getting more points, you know, you'll be rewarded for playing yourself, you know, that kind of style. This is going to be a better, better leaderboard and an all-time leaderboard. And obviously, there's leaderboards for weekly, monthly, friends, you can see all these things and there's going to be actual things to unlock for each one, different special, like skins, characters, all that kind of cool thing, so... In my opinion, this is definitely a way to go, and I'm very excited about the leaderboards. That's my opinion, you know. Um, it just goes over here, it explains about each one. They've fixed the rap shot technique to make it more perform better, you know, the rap shot. Uh, you can see here where some instances where people would shoot over cover and it would just not shoot, or like obviously people aiming at someone on cover, you would still get hit, which I think they've managed to fix that as well. Um, you can see here, if a user joins near the end of a match, uh, it will constantly finish. Um, you can see that there. The explosion head sorts, both AOE damage and confetti options. You know, low gravity death, voiced gun sounds, screen effects. Um, that's all mutators that have joined to custom matches and also special events down the line. So that's going to be fun, you know. It's something different you can play about with your friends, have a laugh on your stream do what you want you know make funny videos i think it's gonna be a good laugh they've added new custom weapons as well to the game uh, in custom versus mode uh, so you've got the pipe you've got the snow shot the clock shot cupid's torpedo and golden gun all in custom game modes uh, as you see here a unique esports variant of control has now been added uh, this is basically 
all the things here explaining the down but not out damage uh, has been enabled uh, you can see the weapon respawns are now worked on to make the pickup not in use reduced ammo and power weapons uh, reduced um, weapon spawn timers players can now suicide while being down but not out uh, the initial start and hill for each M map will be uh, always the same and ring orders for each map are now static uh, you can see here the initial ammo has been long shot M bar is 6 torque bow is 4 uh, the boom shot drop shot is 2 botox 18 the retro lancer is 80 uh, frags and instants are 2 shocks are 1 and you can see the timers here as well so horde uh, i'm not really into horde it doesn't really excite me but uh, as you see here there's a few things they've done to fix a few things as i said anything that you want to go over again read this i'll put the link down below for you guys all right thank you escape they fixed a few things here on forever uh, they fixed an issue on the blight the clock the trap um, they've also fixed the increased loading times in the safe room is now been fixed brawler scorcher master will now work correctly and smoothing warmth card will also work and regenerate your health when you're near a burning enemy the pilot the silverback scorcher is card is now going to be working correctly the technician you can see the ultimate has now been reduced by 50 percent in horde demolitions uh, the gambit skill card will now be correct and planted grenades the mechanic you can see here the ability to reinforce the turret skill card blood bloody shrapnel and shredded rounds uh, they're all have been fixed as well the combat medic the intervention will now revive multiple downed players simultaneously you can see here the protector there's quite a few fixes here um, the architect slugger i mean as i'm saying guys these, these are just not really i'm just not a, a pve player and i don't want to go and talk about all these things when i'm not into this you know so there's gonna be a lot of people that, out there that are interested i do apologize but um, i'm mostly here for the pvp and the juice and the content <laughs> all right you can see here guys there's a few things with the tour of duty the challenges have been increased uh, like one star two star three stars i've went up by like 10k 20k so that's quite cool damage versus has went up um, you can see the drone elite challenges the power horde challenges and the escape challenges were went up by like double um, as you see here the accessibility um, users can now disable camera shake in pve that's quite cool users can now target lock feature in pve going into advanced difficulty a new feature a navigation ping escape mode has been added uh, when enabled following the changes are enabled full path always uh, and doorways have been fixed uh, the tacom has been fixed doorways on tacom has been fixed uh, there's unique pings when you need to interact with someone or move over to cover each ping is accompanied by the high contrast visual uh, cue so other things about pve horror things i don't really know what's going on but sounds good to me <laughs> play with tc update okay so this is coming to the end guys i do appreciate everybody that's watched this video if you guys do enjoy these ones then obviously hit that like button and subscribe and join the royal army uh, let's finish this off play with tc update thank you for everyone who's played against the tc devs in operation six drop two uh the botox psych execution is going to be given to everybody our focus is shifted away from the event for now but we will be taking away the feedback that we got and applying it to future community events um that's awesome that's good arcade status update back at the start of operation six drop two we temporarily disabled arcade mode we are continuing to investigate the issues behind this the arcade will remain disabled for the near future but i'm sure it will be back operation seven is launching tomorrow at 10 a.m pdt as always take care who's hyped for the gas tomorrow everyone let's go man listen guys thank you everybody who's watched this video hit that like button subscribe and make sure you stay tuned for many many more videos and content coming to the channel uh, you know i'm going to bring the gas i'm going to bring all the content so guys have a great day and i'll see you guys tomorrow peace